I was brought up in the Depression in the 30s, and we didn't have any money. Mm. And so anything I had to, uh, if I wanted anything, I had to make it myself. And if I wanted a boat and wanted to come up fishing here, I had to build the boat first, make the boat, and then come up. And it, it, there, was, there wasn't much money in those days, not like now. My father said, what do I go to, to his fisherman friend? He said, what am I going to do with those kids? They think they're going up to Nahatlatch Lake and they're going to uh, uh, dig for gold and, and trap and stuff and they'll freeze to death. They don't know anything about that. So he said, why don't you send them up to Laskiti Island and get them to build a boat or something? And so, and so my dad came to me and he said, if you want to build a boat, I'll buy the material for you. So he supplied the thirteen and a half dollars it cost to build the rowboat, and we came up to the and fished. brought up the family and then we grew apart and then I found Sherry and we built uh, the wind song and we went to Hawaii and we went to Fiji. But from here to Hawaii it took 26 days here and back and we made four trips to Hawaii and we made a trip to Fiji and a trip to Mexico, a couple of trips to Mexico. And then we came back to Vancouver, and, and then we built a, a, a rowboat in Sherry's mother's house in the basement, and we went up to uh, the mouth of Jervis Inlet, to uh, Nelson Island. We mm -hmm. lived there for about three or four years, and then we, we, we built another boat up there, and then we built another boat down in Pender Harbor, and, and we sold the place, and we've just been, been building boats and traveling. So how many? Hmm? How many? Forty? Forty-four boats, counting the dories and rowboats and dinghies and everything. Mm -hmm. Just about three, that, about eight that you could live on. Mm -hmm. And this is the last one. The dory. Uh, my friend Louis, French guy from, from south of France, he wanted to build a he wanted to know how to build a dory, uh -huh. so we le a couple of years ago we built a dory each. Okay. I, I had already given my little dory to uh, my my granddaughter, mm -hmm. and uh, and we, when we came back from Mexico, after I gave I gave the boat to Jerry and we went down to Mexico and we got in an earthquake, and we came back here, and I, we stayed at my sister's place mm -hmm. and we built a 18 foot dory and that was too big to tow around with a little 27 foot boat that my that we had yeah. and so I built we built a smaller boat and you've been doing this all your life <laughs> well, yeah. I've, I've built 44 boats and you've always lived on them uh, well, we lived up in Nelson Island for three or four years, whatever, I forget how long. Uh -huh. But mostly we've lived on boats. And the boat that you're painting is this one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? This thing? Yeah. A Yulo. Y O no Y U L O H. Y U L O H. Yulo. Uh huh. Y -U -L -O -H. This is a Yulo. It's just a sculling one, really. Only it's crooked. See how it's not straight? Oh, yeah. And I put it, I put it down the net. In there. here. Mm -hmm. 
that's the post and then the rudder sticks it's the, it's a balanced rudder did I tell you before about the caretaker on the other island where I had supper last night no some a couple of guys came over from Hornby and they tied him up and they said they'd kill him really? if he told them what they looked like if he told the police what they looked like okay and then so he said, and he's a nice, gentle sort of a young guy, and he plays very musical. And he decided he'd come over and live on this island. He said, I'm not going to be caretaker anymore. <laughs> and so he came over on this island, and he lived in a little shack on this island, and the dog bit his nose. <laughs> the other cat used to hide under the blankets as soon as I'd hoist the sail. And this cat, she always loves to, it, it, it's so happy when I'm out. It gets all over me and climbs on me and grabs the lines when they move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good little sailor. Are you going out sailing today? Maybe. Depends. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> depends on the wind? Yeah, depends on the wind. The wind usually goes down and about uh, noon or a little after and then it gets up again in the evening sometimes. Uh -huh. Never know. Mm -hmm.